guys welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here hi my name is betty moon and this is the right place for you so first of all we hit 1000 subscribers like here yeah. i'm so so happy that we finally hit 1000 subscribers uh it's been a long time as in since i started youtube the what i wanted was to hit 1000 subscribers because i'm that one person who never puts that with subscribers because i wanted views and i think i of late i have wanted i want to give you quality content rather than quantity if you follow me on instagram you know i talked about that i want to give you the best the quality content you want so if you are new here welcome to this youtube channel and feel at home leave a comment ask me anything follow me on all the socials with claire betty Mweni on instagram betty Mweni on facebook and uh betty Mweni 2 on tiktok and i'm also on twitter betty Mweni 1 so yeah follow me on all uh social media platforms so on today's video uh we're going to talk about tips on how to arrange your bed sitter or a studio apartment but i'll call it a space because it can actually apply to anyone who uh whether you live in a one bedroom a two bedroom apartment or anyway it can actually apply to anyone because that that's why i'm using the word space so but mostly it's small spaces because my space is small. I live in a studio apartment or a bed sitter. That's how we call it in Kenya. So I have written down the tips because in this diary, because I didn't want to give you something which I actually have. Do you understand? So I had to do research uh, and compare with what I have done with my space, not give you something I have not done with my space. So I did research wrote down everything uh, I thought would work for everyone in this platform and I realized that most of my viewers most of the people in this uh, channel uh, also youtubers and live in small spaces not everyone actually but most of them live in small, small spaces so this will greatly greatly help you so without any further ado let's go straight to the video uh, if you know me you know that i have been living in a, in a studio apartment and i have made it a home i talked about making your space a home so i always make sure that each time i leave the house and come back that i'm so comfortable i'm so happy with where i am before we actually move to a bigger space so the first one is make sure that your house smells nice and you keep your room clean and tidy one thing with small spaces is if anyone enters through the door they'll actually see everything you know that studio apartment has washrooms and kitchen in one space not unless you're blessed to have a kitchen in a different space another thing i didn't say is that excuse me if you hear any background noise the kids are home i don't live in an uncompound so yeah you'll have to bear with the noise the background noise or uh, with the kids playing so we were talking about keeping your space tidy and clean and smelling nice uh another thing is the smell the first thing another thing if you open uh your door obviously uta hit you smell your so if your room smells nice that's a tick for you that's a plus for you and with smelling nice i mean you can use air fresheners in my case i use air fresheners for the toilet i also use air fresheners for the living room and the bedroom space uh, another tactic i know is if you are a lady or even most of you if you're a man and you're in this platform uh you most of the time you use deodorants you use sprays and each time you use them and leave the house okay really better the smell is there so make sure that you smell you space smells good and nice and make sure it's very very clean in my case i make sure that i wash uh the house like thoroughly like once in a week so the same I could wash it once in a week. You can actually wash it twice or wash it siku, but I thoroughly wash it once in a week. Wipe the dust, wipe everything, wash under the bed once in a week. That's point one. The next point is the choice of furniture. When I talk about the choice of furniture is I talk about the shelves, I talk about uh, your seats, your bed. Uh, this is where we talk about storage so make sure that if you're living in a small space or even in a one bedroom and your bedroom is quite small uh you include shelves 
uh, you include a bed which has a storage. My space does not have a closet, so I I thought that my under the bed will be a good storage for my outfit, so that's where I store my outfits. And when it comes to the kitchen, make sure that the kitchen has shelves. So my kitchen does not have shelves. I, I'm planning to actually put some shelves. Shelves make uh, increase the storage in your space. Actually, there another thing is there are seats with storage. Uh, so you can actually go to your fundi, customize a seat with a storage, and that will work for you. Also, Ottomans. Ottomans come in handy because there are some Ottomans which have storage. Another thing is the TV stand. Your TV stand, you can actually get a TV stand which actually uh, can be used as a storage. So when it comes to furniture, that's what I'm talking about. That's the second point. The third point is uh, try to create illusions in your space. When I talk about creation, eh, what am I talking about? <laughs> when I talk about creating illusions, uh, this is whereby you use mirrors in your space. In my space, I have a mirror which actually works wonders for my space. I love the mirror because uh, it reflects the other side of the, of, of the room and it makes your space look big. So if you have a small space, make sure that you have mirrors. Atakama ni moja. In my case, I have one and it, it actually creates the illusion that the space is big. Mirrors make your space look big. That's another point. The other one is uh, have a color theme. This could be the could have been the first point because color theme is one theme which comes in handy when it comes to small spaces like studio apartments uh, or even a bedroom or one bedroom so if you have decided to choose that to choose like let's say white white and gray new in my case i go with neutral colors i love love neutral colors because you can match them with anything so i mostly go with white and gray sana sana i love white and gray not but the, my seat is I don't know which color is this, but it has a different color, which is also bright. I think you use bright colors, not a must, but make make sure that your space has a color theme. For example, if your space is, uh, your best color is like red, there are people who love red. Red goes well with blue. Uh, if your space is jungle green, green goes well with uh, brown. Yeah. So just make sure either green and yellow, that's okay. So make sure that your house has colors. As in, don't make so many colors in your space. Make sure that your space has a pattern, a color theme. Yeah, that's the other point. The next point is make sure that you add accessories in your space. Accessories actually uh, change your space a lot. So when I talk about accessories, I talk about, this is all the wall art, the plants. I have a plug for plants if you are in Kenya uh, or in Nairobi. Kamukunji has some good plants, some big, big plants which go for 700 bob. So with a big, big plant in your space, uh, it actually gives a different look but compared to when the plant was not there. Another thing is the wall art. Uh, you can it's not a must you have a frame to actually create wallpaper I did a video whereby you can actually go to Pinterest not talked about how Pinterest has helped me Pinterest has been the help of any it has come in handy when it comes to how to arrange my space and how to match match things and how to put things in order so go to Pinterest look for a good good photo go to your cyber Print it. There is that shiny, shiny paper which goes for around 20 bob. Yeah, ku print na ku fanya kila kitu with 20 bob. Buy a black tape. Bandika kwa kuta. That will work for you. That will work for you, and you will make your space look so cool and so good. So make sure that you add accessories in your space, but not too many because at some point you can add too many accessories or to make your space look uh, bulky. Nalewa. But I don't know whether I should use the word bulky, but that's the that's how I can actually put it. So don't put too much accessories in your space, just minimal, minimal but cool. The other one is 
uh, use room dividers. I don't uh, like to tell people to use room dividers in their spaces because not everyone loves room dividers and not every room is so huge. So, but if you feel like using room dividers, like in my case, I used uh, curtains. I used a curtain rod and some curtains, which actually I never draw them. I leave them uh, close. That's how they are. So most of the time use room dividers. And it's not a must to use curtains. I insert clips of from Pinterest uh, on things to do to use to divide your room. You can use a bookshelf to divide your bedroom and your living room. You can use uh, the best example I can give is a bookshelf because there is no way you can divide your room with a shoe rack. You know, yeah. So. That's the other point. Use room dividers. Not a must though. Not a must though. So here you see Lazima will get the list. But if it, you feel like it can work for you, go for it. The other one is uh, you maximize your light. I've talked about so many of my viewers being YouTubers also or content creators. And one thing is if you don't have artificial lighting, when you're looking for a space go for a space with natural lighting that is the best thing go with a space which has natural lighting if you have been following me for some time you know that i was living underground and that space uh was so cold was so dark my bulb was on throughout and another thing i i still had a ring light but the quality of my videos was not that good so light in your space will actually make your space look so good so that's another point go for a space with light enough light uh -huh. the, the last okay last but not least is add uh height with curtains uh there are some spaces which are too short as in ceiling cochini sana that's my space is not that uh short so with some long curtains, when I mean long curtains is from ceiling hadichini, your space, your they, they might give, ama they will give a different look in your space. So, kama for example, if it's a window, I prefer you put curtains to a ceiling hadichini rather than putting them from the ceiling hadimali dirisha imeshia. Most of the uh, studio apartment spaces uh, don't have the floor to ceiling uh, windows, so. Since CCC Kwetu, Kifika Kwetu will have to, to build such windows. We'll work with what landlords uh, did. So I prefer you put curtains from the ceiling to the floor. That will make your house look good. Another thing is the choice of your curtains. Make sure that your curtains... In India, Piakwa, theme of the color, uh, room theme, the theme of your room, make sure that the choice of your curtains is okay it's so good i mostly i prefer using shears for example kama kuna place unaishi na no one can see i mean no one actually lives next to you i prefer use shears shears give a different look as in they make your space look so good and most of the shears are white okay yeah kuna the red but go for the white shears i love white another thing is the paint of your space uh, most of the houses in Nairobi uh, painted maroon, not maroon, sorry, cream. So if you are, it's possible for you to repaint your house, repaint your house according to your color theme. My house is cream and I wanted to repaint it to white, but since the landlady is like, mm -mm, so I'll just have to stay with my cream and bear with it before I actually look for another space where I can actually repaint uh to white so yeah make sure that your paint goes well with your color theme yeah i think those are the only points i have for now uh concerning how to arrange your space and i i thought it was good for me to share because people are like your space looks good what are the tips what are the ideas and give us ideas on how to arrange small spaces and those are the only ideas I have. So thank you very much for watching and 
thank you for 1000 subscribers i'm so grateful and for the love you're showing like you actually watching my videos and i'm so happy the feedback the comments the likes the shares keep sharing and if share you share my video kindly tag me on instagram at clarity money i'll put the my name right here or right here but kindly tag me and i'll actually repost and give a shout out so sh 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 and give a shout out so thank you very much for watching till the end till the end and see you in my next video